Three years later, Max and I are finally back on the Petawawa River here in Algonquin Provincial Park. Over the next four days, I have two goals for this trip. The first one being fishing. You see, the first time I was here, I hooked into the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life, a 40 inch muskie. That was a crazy moment considering muskie are called the fish of 10,000 casts, and I was an absolute noob at that time. While today, I don't expect to hook into anything like that, a muskie would be nice, or even some walleye to eat. The second goal for this trip is a shot at redemption. There's a story behind that. I'll tell you guys all about that in a bit, but for now we should get the canoe outfitted and uh, in the water because it's kind of getting late in the day. This is a uh, big tops of the rapids. Yes, it seems pretty straightforward. Famous last words. So I didn't exactly hit that one on the line in which I was aiming for. I was a little bit too close to the inside of the river and then I had to make an adjustment at the end. I mean, I got through at the other end, but I took on a lot of water. The issue is that if I'm taking in a lot of water on some rapids that are happening later on in this trip, it's gonna be um, a problem. So I want to be uh, really diligent with my lines so I can uh, keep my canoe afloat. So many dragonflies out. Hey, you guys want some chicken alfredo pasta? <laughs> Yay! Catching those lake trout on the Elliott Lake trip was pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah, that was a good trip, man. It was a good trip. This one, not so much. <laughs> Thermocell has been running for about 15, 20 minutes now, and night and day, the bugs are I don't know where the mosquitoes are at. They're gone. Insanity. Great start to the trip today, but the real trip starts tomorrow. We have a couple large sets of rapids, including Crooked Chute and the main one, Rollway Rapids. Rollway is an 800 meter stretch of class three whitewater, which the guidebook considers some of the most fun and challenging whitewater you can run in an open canoe. Last time we were here, we were unable to run it due to time restraints and skill level. I mean, I don't think we're experienced enough to, to run that. We've done grade threes before, but never 800 meter grade threes. I'm a little disappointed, but I guess it's just incentive to come back. I'll be back, Rollway Rapids, that's for sure. I'll be back. Ever since then, I've always wanted to come back and 
give it a try. I've thought about it every year ever since. And that's one of the main reasons why we're back here on the Petawawa River is to run rollway rapids as I think we're now possibly ready. We'll see tomorrow though. We'll see tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. We're gonna get up bright and early. Looking forward to it. And off to bed, see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning everyone. Just after 5 a.m. Rise and shine. Beautiful, calm morning here on the Petawawa River. The bugs are out, but they're not that bad. I forgot just how magnificent this river is. A few kilometers of paddling till we get to our first set of rapids, and then we'll basically be in it for the day. Coming up to Crooked Chute Rapids. So the rapids leading up to Crooked Chute, class one, class two, quite runnable. The chute itself is a class four, unrunnable for us. So uh, we could run the rapids leading up to it, but we gotta make sure that we get to the pullout. Otherwise, you get swept over the class four. It could be bad. Take that bike so slow. Wouldn't want to get swept into that. Definite spill. We ran up as far as we could to Crooked Chute, portaged around Crooked Chute itself, put in just after the chute, and we're gonna run this uh, class three. Let's fish. Ho! Oh. Ah, little bass. I swear it looked like a walleye. No, 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 no way. Oh my God. 
Max! That is such a big fish. That is a massive fish. Oh my God. Okay. There's no way. Max! Big fish! What? Yo! Oh my god! Woo! Dude! Oh my god! Yo, it's a beast! It's a beast! Woo! Musky! Woo! Yo! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> oh my God. All right, that thing is massive. I'm not even gonna measure it. It's uh, yeah. let's let him go. There you go. Hey. Wow, man. Dude. That was a big muskie. That was big. You think it was as big as the last one? Hard to tell. Yeah, wow. I mean, the last one felt like Moby Dick, right? <laughs> because it was so unexpected. So unexpected. That muskie had a huge, like, scar on his back. Do you see that? Woo-hoo! Yeah! It doesn't look too bad. So this is roll away. I feel like each little section here is just gonna splash you a little bit more. Like definitely not the most insane rapid I've ever done. No, it's just long. Yeah. I feel like that's gonna be the crux. It's just a little bit bouldery through here, but it's yeah. Oh yeah. You got to get on the inside of that rock there and then punch through this big wave. So the crux of this rapid is that ledge and it looks like you have to get to the center, center left in order to run it cleanly. If not, you got to punch through that hole and uh, I guarantee I'm going to take on a lot of water. So in order to uh, get through the rest of the rapid or even through that section, I think it's imperative that I minimize the amount of water that gets into my boat. So I'm gonna back paddle a ton, taking it really slow in the big waves until I get to the ledge and then I'm gonna try my best. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get left and uh, ride the V out and the rest of the rapid seems pretty straightforward.
bad. Very unstable. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, we're pretty full. Got through it. <laughs> Faster than portaging. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I made one big mistake in the middle there. The rest I was pretty happy with. Got through it. Overall, eight out of 10. <laughs> I think what really helped me for the lead up to this was uh, going sideways into the below crooked chute. And uh, it just really reminded me that I gotta keep my, my uh, nose pointed downstream, especially for these big waves. And you're just like back paddling, going slow, and uh, trying to take on as little water as possible. The plan worked, quite happy with it. Maxim's up. Looks like he's pretty far to the right. River right, our left. Here comes the crux, coming in a little sideways. Ooh, he's right for that rock. Easy, nice. No problem. Woohoo! Woohoo! I mean, that's both goals done for the trip. Caught a big muskie, ran rollaway rapids, no point in staying. Let's call in a helicopter evac. That's all the rapids done for the day. It's only three o'clock. We absolutely crushed it. What an incredible day. What a day. And we're finally at the Natch. This place is special. in at Lake Traverse. We ran Big Thompson Rapids, ran Little Thompson Rapids, ran Grillada, <laughs> really? ran above the chute, skipped the chute, only portage of the trip, below the chute ran it, ran Rollway Rapids, Ran the Natch, ran the Natch, the second section. And that's where we are now. Tomorrow, Swift, Swift, Schooner Rapids, it's class one, class two. Five mile rapids, class one, class two. And then we'll be on to McManus Lake. It's all the big rapids done for the trip. The next section is some of the most fun you can have in a canoe because it's just cruising class one, class two in, in a beautiful, beautiful environment. For several kilometers. Yeah. Yeah, for many kilometers, it's the best part. This is quite the route. It's an awesome trip, it really is. One portage. <laughs> Pretty Not good. last time though, we did many portages last we time. We portaged almost everything last time, but this time it was just the one portage. Feels good, eh? Feels you know, great. Feel it's, it's amazing um, how experience um, makes things better. You know what I mean? You become a better fisherman, you catch more fish. 
become a better canoeist, you can canoe more miles, whereas before you couldn't canoe them. How come there's no coffee in my cup? <laughs> you want me to go to the bathroom for you too? Yeah, if that was possible. Oh, they're getting at my legs. <laughs> what the hell? Like, who? Like, are you on the beach or something like that? <laughs> like, wearing I'm shorts? Get, just want to get out of my wet pants. You in Cancun or something like that? You a tourist? <laughs> I netted two fish today. One was a dink bass, the other was a muskie. No luck this evening. Pretty pooch. Gonna cook some food, crawl into bed. Nice spot to be though, eh? Homemade chipotle mayo. Do you want one of these? Oh uh, yeah. Come here. Are we supposed to cheers or something like that? Never cheers to burrito, but yeah, that's good. Cheers. Really good. To say today was an awesome day would probably be a bit of an understatement. Today was an incredible day. Hard to beat. We got a fun one tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Good morning, my mosquito friends. I remember coming here the first time and you were out there canoeing out of the mist and I was mm. taking shots of you. That was it was kind of an epic morning. Unforgettable. Yeah. Some of the best photos I've ever taken. Really? Especially like I was pretty new to the whole canoe camping on the river. Mm. Definitely. Like I, yeah, it was, it was kind of a late time of year for us to be doing it like uh, with so little experience as well. Oh, well, that's why we had to glance over so many rapids and portage. It really was, yeah. This is a magical spot. <laughs> yeah. There's a little trail just up here. Takes us around and up the cliff. We're gonna go hike that now.
torch too. Oh. This is an overhang. <laughs> Being up high just like it triggers like your reptile brain a little bit. Like I'm comfortable, you know, but there's like a small part of me that's like, I could huck myself over this cliff right now. That's uh, what uh, Ed Growlin Poe calls the- Call of the, call of the void. No, uh, the, the imp of the perverse. Oh. It's a wonderful like turn of phrase. The imp of the perverse. It's that like a little voice inside you that says, Come on. Just like, you don't take it seriously, but it says, jump. You know, we all get it. Yeah. And he talks about it. He's, he talks about it, you know, just when you have an outrageous thought, like kind of popping your head, like, why did I think that? Kill. Kill him. <laughs> Fish on. Oh, just a bass. Goodbye. Well, it's just ahead, meaning we're gonna be done a day early. We were pretty efficient on this trip. Awesome time back here at the Petawawa River, making redemption at Rollway Rapids. In fact, we ran almost every single rapid except for one, which was a class four in which we portage around, being our only portage. Caught another muskie. That was, uh, I still don't believe that. That's, uh, that was crazy. <laughs> Amazing trip overall, and it's kind of cool to see how much we've learned in the last three years. Great to be back, and uh, can't wait to come back. Hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.